What's going on everybody? It's been a crazy couple of days for me, I guess the past week and a half, just the holidays with family in town and everything. But now that I have a little bit of time off to myself, I'm able to make some videos. So we'll go ahead and get into it. So this is uh, the parachuter gear um, 81M Tricon chest rig. So this is what I talked about in my last video uh, when I went over the Tricom chest rig, the original one. Uh, so here it is before you now. Uh, this is the Coyote Tan variant. Uh, this is actually a gift from a family member. Um, I'm not going to say who, but anyway, a family member picked it up. And then I couldn't make up my mind, so I went ahead and picked up this Multicam Black version as well. Same thing, 81M. Uh, Tricom, so four, four mag pouches, uh, and then you got your Molly Webbin on each side, two rows. So anyway, I'll just stick with this one since this is the one that I have that's loaded down with my mags. This is the one that I've carried with me in my truck, and the Multicam Black one, I don't have mags in it right now just for the purpose of this video, but uh, I do have that one with four mags loaded next to my bed, if that counts. Anyway, moving on, I uh, just kind of talk about this chest rig and some of the updates that Parachuter Gears made. Um, they got this awesome bungee closure. That's definitely an upgrade from, and they got this nice little button. So it moves, it's not, it's not sewn directly to the rig. It's got a piece of string that it's able to freely move. So that's nice. I mean, I think that's going to help out with the uh, retention, but I mean, I'm doing this with one hand and, you know, with the uh, wooden tassels on the original, you know how big of a pain in the ass if you have one of these, uh, putting that back on can be. So with one hand, I'm able to close it and open it, no problem. So anyway, uh, it's awesome. So this is constructed out of 500D Cordura. Uh, it's really nice, lightweight material um, same thing with the multicam black same material 500d uh, one thing that they've upgraded is they put a buckle on this side and on this side they have added a nice strap with the other buckle on this end so this is definitely a big upgrade compared to the last because if you know what the last one was like it was just literally a piece of thin uh, string or not string but you know a piece of thin webbing that was always a pain in the ass to tie and would come undone when you're out there on the range training or whatever. But uh, kudos to them for making the improvements. Um, moving on, these uh, flaps, uh, honestly, so I usually do, I usually take these flaps when I'm at the range and I just tuck them under just with the old ones just because of how big of a pain in the ass they are. You know, I'll tuck them in get them nice and flat into the pouch themselves like so a little bit better than that but I like that I'll flip them out so that way I have access to the mags that can slowly flow out you know when I can do mag reloads and stuff but honestly with how easy these closures are I'm probably not going to do that anymore because I have been out on the range and my mags have been known to flop out when I go to dive behind a barrel or something um, so Another thing too is you can attach or you can adjust the tension on these, which I might do just to make it a little bit easier. Um, these bungees, you know, they're great. You know, they definitely have good retention, but I'll probably loosen these up just a tad bit, just so I have a little bit more flexibility when I'm on the range, um, making these mag changes and making sure that my mags are nice and secure. Uh, anyway, moving on. Um, another thing they did put a nice little D, D ring for the shoulder straps. So that's a nice, I mean, it's pretty much the same type concept for the original, but, uh, definitely better attachments. It's really, really nicely sewn on there. I mean, you can look at that. It's good stitching all the way around. Definitely reinforced. So that makes me feel good. Um, another thing that they did, I thought was pretty badass. I get a nice little shot of their logo parachuter. Anyway, they added this hook and loop. 
Sorry guys, I'm doing this with one hand. Anyway, here we go. So they added this hook and loop attachment right here and you can attach whatever dangler pouch. This happens to be a Haley Strategic. So this is one of Travis Haley's um, dangler pouches from his chest rig that I picked up quite a while ago. But you can use like Spiritus Systems, I know makes them. I mean shit, there's all kinds of companies that have these dangler pouches out now. Um, but anyway, you just take this, put it right over, flatten it out, and you got the dangler pouch. So this is going to be nice, nice little addition because I don't have a med pouch that can, or an IFAC that can fit right here. So what I plan on doing is putting on a radio pouch, and then this is just the Eagle Industries um, grenade pouch, but it's great for dip when you're at the range. So put whatever lickies and chewies and dip in there and I'm going to use this for my med kit. Um, definitely need to have medical supplies with you at all times. Tourniquet, EMT shears, some Israeli bandages, great to have in here. Um, you can get your uh, chest seals and uh, nasal passage passageways in here as well. So great piece of kit. Um, definitely like the fact that parachuter gear decided to do something like that because that is definitely a game changer in my eyes um you can definitely tell that they thought this out they didn't just put put this out to uh just get another you know item out there for people to buy i mean they really took their time and decided hey i want to do you know bungee retention i want to have uh you know a place to put a dangler pouch on the back i'm going to upgrade all the attachment points and definitely add molly webbing on the side so i mean that's that's a big plus i mean they're not just putting bullshit out there i mean this is definitely definitely a good kit and uh i will go ahead and say this now i did pay for both of these uh i don't get anything free from them this is just my opinion um this was actually a gift from a family member but they did pay for it um you know the multicam black one i picked up on their 10% uh, off sale that they had. If you follow me on Instagram, I put that out there. Hopefully, whoever follows me, you know, saw that and picked one up too, because you're not going to be disappointed. But you know, just a little disclosure. I did pay for these. Well, this one, this was a gift. Um, you know, I don't get anything free for them. I just like you know innovative companies that aren't putting bullshit out there and they're doing. You know stuff like this where they're actually making upgrades to stuff that works so that's my little two cents um if you follow me on instagram you'll definitely be seeing a lot more of these uh i know i've said it in the past i want to get some more shooting videos out there it is coming i'm sorry it's taken so long um i did go out to my local surplus store and pick up a ach which is a high cut ach that i picked up at my local surplus store so um, I got, I'm going to be getting a GoPro. I'm going to put a GoPro mount on here for that. So you will see some good videos. I promise in the future. Um, anyway, parachute gear decided to throw in some of these stickers, which I will be putting on my workbench, which is pretty cool. So here it is. There's their website. If you guys want to check out what they got, they got other stuff besides these. I mean, this is just what I wanted to get. I mean, they have the three cell version of the Chicom and they have other chest rigs out there in different, you know, uh, I guess rigs and stuff. Um, another thing they did just come out with shoulder straps or I guess pads that you can put on these shoulder straps. So if you want to have, you know, extra padding, um, that's definitely, you know, an option. Um, I like having just a minimalist type of rig, so I probably won't be getting the shoulder straps. I'll probably end up getting a couple more of these little bands just so that way I can have to, uh, you know, when I put my radio pouch on, I'm going to have them kind of going up just with the comms for my, uh, for my head headsets. Uh, anyway, um, yeah, this is the Parachuter Chicom 81M. Uh, if you guys like the video, please like and subscribe. Definitely helps me out. I'm not doing this for money. I'm just doing this just to put information out there. And hopefully you guys enjoy it and like it. So 
Uh, if you have any comments, please leave them below and I'll try to get back to you guys as soon as I can. All right, y'all stay safe. Bye.